They're wonderful little animals really. Especially when we're in a bigger group, you can just turn off and they will seem to centre their activities around the boat. So they'll go in, they'll do their feeding, and then each time they come back up to the surface, they'll come around the boat and do a few circles and, and go back. They're, they're lovely animals to work with. Hear them just surfacing around the boat, mm. breathing. Very noisy breathers. The, in the old days, they used to call them puffing pigs. Most people are stunned at their small size. Like you get a, somebody that researches bottlenose dolphins in another part of the world or whatever, and they come and visit, and they just can't believe how tiny they are. Are they very vocal dolphins? They are, but you can't hear it. It's mostly around 120 kilohertz, so about um, six times higher than you can hear. So if we had a hydrophone in the water that could record that high, we'd be hearing these constant trains of clicks. The national population size is somewhere around 8,000 dolphins. Uh, they were doing a nosedive when we first started this study in the 1980s. It wouldn't be unusual to find dead dolphins floating around or find dead dolphins on beaches that had been caught in um, gill nets or trawl nets. We've now got this protection that's ensured that the population is no longer doing a nosedive. So right now it's somewhere around stable or very slowly decreasing. And we'd need to take another step. We'd need to push that protection further offshore in order to allow the population to grow and recover from that impact.